بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وآله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه أما بعد Chapter 97 deals with the supplication upon entering a town or village etc. This supplication whenever the Prophet ﷺ was about to enter a new city, town or village the Prophet used to say this اللهم رب السماوات السبع وما أظلل ورب الأرضين السبع وما أقلل ورب الشياطين وما أضلل ورب الرياح وما ذرين أسألك خير هذه القرية وخير أهلها وخير ما فيها وأعوذ بك من شرها وشر أهلها وشر ما فيها O oh Allah, Lord of the seven heavens and all that they envelop Lord of the seven earths and all that they carry so this is evidence that there are seven earths Lord of the devils and all whom they misguide Lord of the winds and all whom they whisk away I ask you for the goodness of this village, the goodness of its inhabitants, and for all the goodness found within it. And I take refuge with you from the evil of this village, the evil of its inhabitants, and from all the evil found within it. How was the heart of the Prophet ﷺ connected so strongly with Allah Azza wa Jal. This is the difference between a messenger, a prophet, someone who knows Allah and between us, who are ignorant, who are far away from asking Allah for support, from far away from expressing our need in every breath we take, in every step we make, for Allah's guidance and protection for us. Chapter 98. This is not regarding entering a village or a town, but rather entering the marketplace. Hadith number 209. This dua is for us to say before we enter a marketplace. And some scholars said that the marketplace is different than a mall, than a normal shop. It is where people bid and auction things and they would fight. 500, no, 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 I'll take it for 550, no, I'll take it for 600. And they start to dispute and raise their voices. And some say, no, it's any, t any place where selling and buying takes place. So what is the dua? La ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah. له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو حي لا يموت بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير None has the right to be worshipped except Allah alone without any partner to him belongs all sovereignty and praise he gives life and causes death and he is living and does not die in his hand is all good and he is over all things omnipotent. Beautiful dua. The reward is unbelievable. One million good deeds, if you say it. It raises one million sins. Something that blows your mind away. But Allah is capable of it. So, can you say it before entering a market? A lot of the people fail to do this unfortunately because they're not always concentrating and they are unfortunately sometimes negligent of remembering Allah. Chapter 99, supplication for when the mounted animal or means of transportation stumbles. So what to say when something bad happens to your ride. 
Very simple. You say Bismillah. Bismillah. Why would I say that? Because I need Allah's protection and guidance to fix my car, to fix my ride, to fix my animal that I'm riding, instead of cursing it. Because this happened at the time of the Prophet ﷺ and one of the companions cursed the animal that he was riding. And the Prophet said, ﷺ, dismount, leave, leave that animal. Such an animal that is cursed cannot accompany us. So instead of saying such a word, rather use this beautiful phrase, Bismillah, and this would rectify your affairs. The following chapter, supplication of the traveler for the resident. So if I'm traveling and I'm bidding my family, my friends, my relatives farewell, what should I say? I place you in the trust of Allah whose trust is never misplaced. So if I put you in the trust of Allah, I know that when I come back, I'll find you safe and sound. But what should they say to me before I set on my journey? Hadith 212. They say, they should say to you, I place your religion, meaning I entrust your religion, your faith or your faithfulness or your being trustworthy, al-amana, and the ends of your deeds, the conclusion of your deeds. I entrust all of this in the trust of Allah, the Almighty. So when they say this to me, I'm a traveler, they say that I hope that you come with your religion intact. I hope that you come with your uh, um, faithfulness intact. And I hope that Allah, if he were to conclude your life, that he would conclude your life with good deeds to end your life by and this would be the perfect da'wah for uh, any of us. What else? You can also say to a traveler before he sets on his journey as per the hadith. May Allah endow you with taqwa, zawadakallah, may Allah make taqwa, righteousness, be as if you're taking food with you, as if you're taking your drink with you, which you need on your travel, may taqwa be this with you from Allah Azza wa Jal. Forgive your sins and facilitate all good for you wherever you be. And again, this puts confidence and encourages someone who's traveling to trust Allah Azza wa Jal and that everything would be as he hopes for. This is all the time we have. Until we meet next time, I leave you fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, oh, oh.